Yes, we might know a lot more about the trans experience if it weren't for the Nazis. Let me explain. I'm standing on the site of one of the Nazis' most infamous book burnings. Here and across Germany, they rounded up and burned all of the books deemed to be immoral or un-German, including books by liberals, leftists, and Jewish authors, and a lot of research about sexuality and the trans experience. You see, at the time, Berlin was home to the world's first institute of gender and sexuality, started by a gay Jewish doctor. Some of the world's first modern gender affirmation surgeries happened right here. And it housed extensive research, including rare texts on homosexuality and gender affirming care, until Nazi students broke in, stole, and destroyed the entire library. All of this research forever lost. Hirschfeld died abroad before ever returning to his work in Germany. Others tried reestablishing his group after the war, but it didn't last long. It evolved into a new group that would continue some of his work. But it still leaves me to wonder, what would our ideas about trans folks and homosexuality look like today if we still had access to this pioneering research?